Okay, cool. We are going to go ahead. Oh, Yuki, you're going to go ahead and get do the sec, the category, huh? Cool. Um, Vera, Vera. There. Now you're safer. Um, Potter has a tiny bit of a cold, but, you know, with his kind of nose that he has because of that breed it gets plugged up pretty easy he does not tolerate oral antibiotics so i just gave him an injection for it it was easier i'm pretty good princess hope you are too okay well we got a lot of boxes and then i had a few things to go over and um we'll we'll get started you remember how last night when i was done right before I went in how um, Pocus was so sweet and friendly and silly. Here she is again, all over my arms again. And she, I mean, she does not give up easy. It's like, you will pet me. All right, let's get started. Okay, Pocus, you got to go over there, buddy. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes. Pretty cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not a slide there, promise. Okay. I need more space. I wanted to show you this before we get started. This is a, this, this does not do it justice, but I got this in the email from Kismet, Kismet Val S, and it's a bouquet of flowers. On, on the email, it looked really, really awesome. It was all very pretty and colorful. I never knew there was such a thing as that, where you could send like a bouquet to somebody. So that was from Kismet, which I thought was, it was a really beautiful picture. Okay, baby girl. How about we put you right there on the spider thing? Okay. We will get started. Let me make sure I have on the papers I wanted to show you all tonight. And let me get one thing, then I don't have to leave again. For those that missed it this morning, I'll share with you um, a plan that I have, okay? So let's get started. This one is from, oh, this is from Petco, so this might be from Lini. And, you know, since we have to move so much moving on Sunday, we're going to try to, I got some more people coming on Sunday, so I think we're going to do most of the moving just on Sunday. Um, we've got a real big medicine cabinet in June's room that I think will save a couple of these boxes because all of that has to come out of there. Oh, this is good stuff. Good stuff, Maynard. Um, it doesn't say who it's from, but let me check. Lini's paper. Can I have that? I got way too much here, help here. Appetizer. Yes, this is this is from Lini. This is from Lini, and check, uh oh, I think Fear has been in here. Or uh, Octavia's been in here already. It's opened. <laughs> oh, that's danger because Octavia will find it. This is. A whole case of the appetizer, um, wild Alaskan salmon. Oh, that's pretty clever, Lini. That's pretty cool. I like that Alaskan salmon. Salmon. What we've been doing is taking some of the food and putting in the back room. That way, um, we're gonna we have to put a lot of the canned goods 
in uh, the new office, the welcome room. So next week we'll have um, have the food. Otherwise, there's no access in here. So we're we're trying to think ahead. Here, watch out, Kitty. Over your head. Yeah, somebody will find that already. Whoop. <laughs> I am so sorry, Jacob. That's the second time I popped you on the nose. This is also from Petco. Dan, what do you think's in here, Jacob? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, yes. We got another appetizer. You know, this is the food that if you can't get a kitty to eat, this is what they're going to eat. And this one is white meat chicken. Yep. And this is also from Lini. Lini, thank you so much. That is, um, that is really nice food. And Siri, our little ragdoll girl, she loves, loves, loves um, these appetizers. She eats really good with these. Here, box them over your head. Go get it, Weasley. Your mama sent these. And this is a pet code. So I'm going to bet you this is from Lini. I can't cut worth anything tonight, can I? Oh my gosh. Maybe the knife is starting to get dull. Yeah, this is it. Appetizer. Let me check on this one. Yep, sea bass and shrimp appetizer. Thanks, Lini. You know what? I'm going to open this one. And I'll make sure Donna and Weasley get a tray of this tomorrow. But the rest of it, I will um, put in the back room so we can use use some of that. I won't take all that back there. And you know what? I think we probably, but that box might be too small. That box might be too small. We'll see some of the others. Aw, Kira is already sitting in the box, one of the boxes. Thanks, Lainey. This one is from Costco. So I'm not sure who this one's from. It says Costco Business Products. Hmm. That sounds kind of interesting. Yeah, we will not give sardines. Well, gosh, tomorrow's, tomorrow's Thursday, isn't it? So, yep. The kitties are off sardines. If, if Weasley and Donna can't have sardines, none of them can have sardines until, until Saturday. Oh, we love these. Let's see if we got a name who this is from. Oh, please have a name. Please have a name. It doesn't have a name. Will somebody, can somebody tell us if they ordered it from Costco Business Products? And it's these wonderful, wonderful Mr. Clean erasers. There's four boxes of them. These are really great. There's four of these. Did, did Lini send these? Lini did? Wow, these are awesome. Um, excuse me, Potter. Uh, these, if you can't get something off, that's your... Oh, yeah, I see it now. Ah. Uh, Jacob, yep, I got it now. Um, if you can't get these, something off, dirt or something, if these don't take it off, nothing's going to take it off. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm losing control here. Okay, Jacob took my cutter, and Tweeny got in the computer. Uh-uh-uh-uh. No, no, honey bunny. How on earth did you do that? All right, that's not a good thing. No, no. Lini, or Lini, sorry, sorry, Lini, Tweeny, it was Tweeny. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, thanks, Lini, we love the magic erasers. Yeah, yeah, it's just like the um, appetizers, if you haven't tried them, you better get them. Which one should we open up next, Jacob? Oh, that's so rude, that is so rude. Let's try this one. Oh, this one. Oh, I bet I know what this one is. 
I hear a little crumble in there. It is, it's litter. Good. Oh, this is really good. Because I was supposed to get litter today, and I didn't get it done. And we only had one box left in there. And, you know, one box goes nowhere here. So this is Arm & Hammer, 14 pound, but there's no name on it. Does somebody, um, somebody want to claim it for us? So we know. Oh, Skeeta Kens, is this from you? Give me this. You guys are being a pain tonight. Skeeta Kens, I've got your paper here too. <clears throat> yeah, yep, this is definitely from Skeeta Kens. Thank you. Appreciate this, Kita Kins, because uh, this will get me through tomorrow morning. So we have litter to replenish from tonight. So I'm actually just going to leave this out because I will use all of this tomorrow morning. Thank you. And this is Arm and Hammer, the Super Scoop. <laughs> Between boxes and cats on the floor, it's very difficult to walk. But that's okay. That's all right. You have to have to work around them. Yeah, I will use that whole box tomorrow. Thank you, Skeeta Kims. Here you guys. Now this box, I think we better keep for some of the medical things. Oh, and this is from also from Petco. You guys better tell Skeeta Kims thank you for your for your litter. Look at this little pest. Val, Val, when you come, you got to check this little dude out, too. He and his sister are just two ornery little stinkers. Oh, good. Oh, I'm going to bet you this is also from Lini. Let me double check. I do have a paper from Lini. Yeah, this is. This is from Lini. Thank you, thank you, Lini. Wow, this is awesome. Lots of good stuff here. We get, and you know what's really nice is we took a lot of the canned food out of the uh, kitty campus room today to store. We just took minimum amount what we thought would get us through uh, for maybe <clears throat> four days, which we know we really should do for six. But it cleared our um, countertop off. So we'll, we'll use all this. And I think we'll put one of these boxes out out um, on the desk out there for us to use next week. Thank you, Lini. This will help us a lot. Yeah, so see, they got food and they got litter, so they can eat and go potty. Okay. Whoop, that's why that was so heavy. Oh, are you all right? Jake can just, well, I don't know if he fell or jumped on the floor. And this one is another, or uh, this one's a prime filet. So I think we'll take one pate and one filet for us to use for next week. And then, then I'll be pretty confident that we've got enough out there in the office to get us um, through the whole week next week. Thanks, Lainey. And this box, we better save to help us pack on Sunday. Okay, that's Lainey's, that's Kelly's, this is Jody's. We'll, we'll do this one next. This is another heavy one. Hands, maybe? Sometimes they say the weight on them. I always like to check that out. No, no, guys. Oh, that's Jake again. Oh, my gosh. He's trying to get in the box of litter. He is so ornery. And trust me, if he's not, then his sister is. She picks up the slack. Which she's right over here on this box. Oh, wow, we are looking good for food. This is really good. This helps us a lot, lot. 
And where's the paper? Mimi, this is yours also as well. Wow. Didn't want to carry all this on the plane with you, did you? Uh, <laughs> this is another case of fillets. You got a huge variety of everything. Thank you, Mimi. I hope your two cats at home are all pumped up and ready for these little hooligans. See, so everything has a double purpose today. <laughs> All right, and this one, wow, we got a lot of them. This one is from Jody, our um, webcam friend, Jody M. And Jody is, uh, lives in Michigan. And she says, a lot of miscellaneous stuff and a few big things that I'll let you be surprised by. Take care. And this is from Jody, our friend from Michigan. She told me once how to pronounce it, but I don't remember. Gross Isle, Michigan, maybe? It's you again. I think we're just going to stuff you in, in a carrier with somebody. And I think I hear Pam is here. Here, watch your toesies. Yeah, watch your toesies. I want to trust me. All right. We have toys for the kids. Hi, Pam. Oh, boy, everything's a sheet of ice. Is it? Yeah. yeah. My car is totally case of ice. In ice? I didn't know. stones and stuff out here. I didn't think I had to call in here. Really? Yeah. I didn't know we were supposed to even get ice. I sure didn't either. Wow, boy, Jody, you are a, are a good packer. We keep the paper out for tonight. Oh my golly, they look at that piece. There's two of these, and they're jihuji. Oh wow, these are there are 750 of these. These will last me for a few days. No, just kidding. <laughs> Those will last me. Wow, that's really awesome. And look at this, um, the. Uh, coils. We send one of these coils home. Well, not the whole pack. One. There's ten of them in these packs, and we send one home with every single adoption inside the pet carriers. And I was looking for some the other day, and we were getting very, very low on them. Actually, I think I only had one other case left. What are you doing, Tilo? And these, I've seen these before. These are cool. These are these little yaos. And they look like a fish or sardine. And uh, they're filled with catnip. And these are really good catnips. Here, Putter. Putter just sits there. Oh, and Cosimo likes catnip. Cosimo. Do you want that, Cosimo? I'll save this one for a little bit later. Oh, Tilo. And new plate or new bowls. These are nice. Thank you, Jody. These, this is a good size for us. Those would be good for food. And, oh my goodness. What? Oh, 300 lumens. Sportsman Extreme. It's a 4-watt LED water-resistant durable construction light. And so that's what these are for. That's cool. Thank you, Jody. I always like to, uh, I like having flashlights around. And actually, I think what we'll do with this one is put this in the desk in, in the welcome room. And that way, if it, if our lights do go out, I've, I've got two flashlights in there, too, that you webcamers got us. And I'll put those in there as, um, as our light source. Oh, there's another one, too. Oh, my goodness. Guys, come on. These are come really on. nice. Thank you, Jody. Yeah, this is a Jody M box. Oh, yay. One of the meow or yeow bananas. 
and they're fighting over them under there. Oh, here's Siri loves catnip. Siri? Do you want that? Siri, I remember the first um, night that I saw her actually play with toys. It was with a banana, um, so she really likes it. Did I see something about emer yeah for emergency or severe? And oh wow, look at all this! Oh, kitty, kitty treats. You know, and I, and I know that sometimes it looks like wow they got a whole lot of this or a whole lot of that. But remember, we have a whole lot of cats, and we go through a whole lot of supplies. But we got three kitties playing with catnip over here. Pam, hey, um, I'm sorry. I got stuff on the counter while you're working. I'll move it out here real soon. Okay. Whoa, Tilo. And we also have a have a party mix. And check this out. We got some more Bonito flakes. And I do have a place in the counter, or in the cabinet, that I can keep this safe <laughs> from um, Octavia until we can use it. Tilo, what are you doing? Oh, and here's another appetizer. Now, this one I for sure am going to put out in the office for use of next week, because if I leave this in the cabinet without the whole box, Octavia will for sure get it. So we'll put, hey, what is going on over here? Hey, stop that. Is he being a bully? Are you okay now? Here, let me touch him. There's a good girl. Promise, or promise was getting bullified. Okay, we're going to take one of these. And take back there. Actually, I'll take both of those. And take back here so that the kitties don't get into it. Tilo's into something in there. Hi. I'm not sure what, Tila, what are you doing in there? And then we have, oh, thank you, Jody. Thank you, Jody. This is, this is great. And, oh my gosh, I didn't know you would get these. Wow, there's kitties everywhere over here, Pam. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is that lysine that we use. This is what we use in, um, every single morning for kitties that have had, well, it helps with some of the eye problems, which we probably, Nini, should be sending some, you know, a, enough for a few weeks to get you by for um, Wheezy, and it's okay for Donna to have it too. And look at this. These are those long tip um, applicators. They're for the ears also. These are really nice to have also, and I like these for the doggy ears. Yeah, it's, well, no, it's lysine. It's 100% pure powder, essential amino acids, and this is what we use. This is part of the mix that we put into um, our breakfast. See, on Tuesdays when Judy, my sister Judy is here, she makes a packet of this up every single Tuesday and she makes enough for us to get through a whole week. This is a combination of different things but one of which is this lysine and um, it, it has lysine in it, it has colostrum powder and she also put some of the KMR powder that you folks have all gotten the kitties, the KMR um, powder to mix up because it makes everything taste real good. Yeah, it's a supplement, but this one, we just mix it in the food. Um, we know about what the total weight is for all the kitties here. Usually at any given time, I'm pretty good about figuring that out. And then we, then she mixes up however many capsules uh, that's in here um, and does this for that body weight then for a whole week. 
So it's good. This is especially good for kitties with eyes. We used to never use it, but years ago we started this. It, oh, white powder, not good on the plane. Yeah, you're exactly right. I'll write it down for Lini so she knows. Good thinking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They'll say, uh, Lini, what the heck do you have here? Um, but we use this. We started using this years and years ago when we had um, one particular summer that we, oh, my, it's been years ago that we were hit really hard with the herpes virus in the eyes. And we've been using this for a long time. And it, uh, coincidence or not, I'm not sure, but I know that um, ever since we started using this and the colostrum that our eye problems have gone downhill drastically, big, big time. It's made a big difference. So, yeah, this is, this is lysine. And this is the combination of the things that we use. Oh my. They're going crazy over the. Oh, look at her eating. Here, let me get, let me get some of my stuff out of your way. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. I'm managing here, okay. And we'll get this over here too. Oh, hey, Pam. Uh -huh. This is where um, Queenie right eats. Yeah, she likes to eat on the on the stairs there. Right where she's at. Yep, right where she's at. If the other kitties will leave her alone. So um, Jody sent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these, and there's a hundred of these in each one. So thank you, Jody. Thank you, thank you. These every single one of them will be used. All right, what else? There's something else in there besides the Tilo. Tilo says I'm into the paper. All right. You know what? We could just put that in there. Let's see what else is in here. What? Oh. oh. This is really nice. I've never had one of these oh, before. Oh, these great uh, weather stations. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Jody, this is pretty cool. I've never had one of these before. No, but actually, when I first looked at it, too, Raven, I thought it was a box of rubber gloves, which we use those. But it's a AM, FM weather alert radio. Protect your family with immediate notification of severe weather or civil emergencies. AM, FM alarm clock with weather alert override. Digital weather all hazards alert radio. Get up-to-date weather information from the National Weather Service. This is really awesome. It's a public alert certified by the Consumer Electronics Association. Only SAME weather alert radios can receive this certification and provide the advance warning that could save your life. Other weather band radios may not. All right. We're going to have to get this set up. Thank you. Thank you. Is Jody on? I want to thank, too, our moderators tonight, Bubbles and Gemini, Tommy. I love my pets, Napa, Severin, Sherry, Yvette. Wow, we got them, a lot of them on tonight. Thank you, Jody. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is really cool. You might save our kitties' lives. What if there was a tornado or something? We would know now. I'm going to set this here and get that get that hooked up. And... <laughs> um. I don't think I can take this box down because Tilo is in it, and he's very busy bathing himself. Tilo, I'm going to put these things in there. You're going to have to figure out how you're going to manage manage it. Wow. And so, boy, Jody is our emergency person. So with our lights and our our um, our radio thing, that's pretty cool. Thank you, Jody. Appreciate that. All right, let me move. Don't you swap me, buddy. Don't you swap me. Yeah. <laughs> and Tilo is still in the box. Are you eating up here? Oh my goodness. Wow, Jody, 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 everybody, thank you so much. You know what? I'm going to have to just give in and give them this one too. 
because I see Gramanique is down here and she loves them. Gramanique, 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 there you go, girly girl. Hey, Weasley, that's hers. Okay, can you scoot over there? Oh, your food. This is your food. This, I can tell what's in this one. I didn't have to shake it. Actually, oh, come on. Just spray it. That's mine. Oh, I just want to make sure it's not my mom. That's my daughter. I'll have to call her when I get done. Um, I'm not going to open this because I've got, um, I think a container of six more paper towels. So I'll leave this in the um, box until um, I get through those six, which will not take long because we okay. use a lot of paper towels. Okay. Now look at that. Press. Oh, except we don't know who it's from. Yeah. Do we know who it's from, anybody? Yeah. This is cool. There's how many boxes? Okay. Or, there's 30 rolls in this. Oh wow. my gosh. Let's see. This came... Oh, we gotta know. Oh, this is Costco. So I'm gonna betcha. Yeah, this is from Leany too. Oh wow, Leany, this is cool. Thank you. Yeah, Leany sent it. Wow. This this um brings me to something I want to talk to you guys about tonight. Okay, here, let me. Donna or Donna, you better move down there. That's our little Fifi. Here's Fifi. Trying to be in the way. And this one, I don't know what it is, but this is the one that weighed 39 pounds. And, oh, this is from Costco, too. All right. All right, Jury. Come on, Jury. Over there, buddy boy. Right out of my head. Right yeah. Oh, oh, you guys. Okay. Thank you, Ruth. Be careful out there. Okay. Got we got the trailer out here. there. Okay. Yeah. You mind, they yeah. It's going to be fun. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We got lots of bangs. There you go, guys. Here, come on. Where we go, Tilo? Oh, this is something not everybody might like to get, but we like to get it. Ah, yeah. Lini, you're awesome. <laughs> Toilet paper, and this is Charmin toilet paper. I've got somebody that's got a, whoop, I'm sorry, honey, that's got the real thing that bees fit in, so I will ask him about that because there's a whole bunch of them in here for us. Meanie, thank you. And it's cotton now, so we know it's soft. We get excited about things like this. Yeah, and I'm going to put this back on because of the kitties. Look at you needing that. And, ugh, we got one more box in here. Wow. I think, I think I lost my, there it is. It says Dixie, but I'm not sure. Oh, this is cool, too. Mimi, you're awesome. Thank you. Ugh. Paper, the big paper plates. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think we're set on plates for a little while because what you guys got us for um, Christmas, I've been working in those boxes already, using some of those up. So this will 
help us with that too. Thank you. This is really cool. I think we are setting pretty good on some of this stuff. I'm going to take these two boxes over there so I can move three boxes so I can move around a little bit. Whoops! <laughs> Be careful. Oh no, now we have kitties in boxes. Here. Oh, you guys, I cannot move at all. mess today. Hey, Lini, I bet you didn't know it, but you sent us two black kitties and also one gold kitty. Must have been warehouse kitty. Now, we're going to close this up, and I'm going to use this for our medicine cabinet for Sunday. All right, here it comes, guys. Watch out. Organized tonight. <laughs> okay, give me just one minute here. Oh my, you kitties are really in my way tonight. <laughs> of these boxes to pack up some of the medical things too. Okay, you gotta move here. You know, it always makes me feel very very secure when our supplies are good because when when they don't when our supplies start getting down I do oh, I start getting nervous and worried and you guys always seem to know what it is that we get low on and so I appreciate it very very much so let me move this and get the stool over here so we can go over a couple things Oh, no. I'm going to Oh, you guys. What'd they do? Did you, they got into the a pack of the trees. Can I move more some of them in here so they're more scattered? Stones out there, the wall on or a sheet of ice. Or a sheet of ice. Oh, yeah. Nobody was supposed to see that. I didn't either. You know, we had that that weather alert radio hooked up that Jody just got us. We probably would have known that. Yeah, it tells all that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think I'm ready to sit down and chit chat. It's pretty hard. Right. We're going to keep her busy tomorrow. Um, I shared this with someone, some, uh, some of the breakfast people this morning. And I'm sorry for repeating it, but I got to say it one more time. Share this one more time before I put it away in my memory things. 
but um, first thing is um, you all know that we won the thousand dollars for having the most votes for the second week so that's really cool and that means next usually Wednesday next Wednesday is when we'll get that check and uh, I'm just tickled to pieces on that and you know some of I know some of you guys are disappointed that we're not in the first place but you know what four five quarters ago we well maybe maybe five or six quarters ago we were um, ranking like 76 and then we moved up to 47 or whatever you know we've come a long 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 way in this in this voting race and uh, the fourth quarter as you know of 2011 is when we won the grand five thousand dollars we can do it again in 2012 I uh, don't know if we'll do it this time, but we're, we will try, and it just takes votes. If we don't get it this time, we can try for the second quarter, and maybe we'll get it then. Because let's say if the blind cat one wins, they can't get that again for 2012, so that helps us get up there again. Yeah, that's right. That's right, guys. If we don't do it this time, we'll, we'll do it again next time. But um, we did, did win for second overall, um, for the second week of the voting. We had the most votes then. Um, so that entitled us to $1,000. And we should get that check, like I said, next Wednesday. So I wanted to share two things, just in case you weren't here this morning. I just love this. And I'm sorry if you heard it this morning. And I don't usually repeat myself too much. My, I was out at my mom's yesterday, and she's starting to go through a few closets and things like that See, uh, for this quarter. Yet, yeah, um, I'm not sure on that. I'll have to look up the rules on that one. Um, so anyhow, my mom is starting to clean out a few things, and she brought this to me. And 10 years ago, this past November, my parents celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary so they had been married 70 years but 10 years ago was their 60th and we had a real cool party for them and some of us wrote up it says special memories of my mom and dad as I was growing up and this one is the one that I have written but I wanted to read two things on this to you I just jotted down some really fun things that uh, I remembered of my mom and dad this one this one is um, I think you'll get a kick out of this it says, I remember going to someone's house to pick out a kitten. Uh, us kids wanted two kittens, but, but my dad but dad kept saying only one, only one. So mom put the second one in her jacket till we got halfway home to show it. Uh, and then the kitty's head popped up and then we showed it to dad and we got to keep it. So we, we went to a friend's of my house that had kitties and Dad kept telling us all the way there, one kitty, one kitty. I remember him saying that so well, and I'd forgotten that until I reread this yesterday. And we were, Dad was standing up watching Mom and, uh, or watching Mom and myself and my sister Patty squat down, and we were looking at all the kitties trying to decide one. Well, we picked out one, but Mom, Patty, and I kept saying, we want the sister, we want the sister. So Mom was squatted down there. She just unzipped her jacket and stuffed it in there, zipped it up. And off we went to the car with what my dad thought was one kitty. And halfway home, I remember I was in the back seat, and I saw the kitty pop up. And Dad didn't turn around, though, and make us take it back. So he likes he likes animals, too. Um, this other one is, you know, this tells you about my, a little bit about my, my dad because, and my mom. They are, you might... If you ever wondered why I have such a love of animals, it is because of my mom and dad. And this one says, I remember my mom and dad letting me have countless pets, dogs, cats, birds, chameleons, turtles, hamsters, rabbits, toads. But I never, never, but I never did get a horse until later, though. I didn't get a horse until I was an adult and I got it for myself. But when I was little and growing up, I got lots and lots and lots of critters, and anything I found I would always bring home, and my dad always would make me a little box or a cage, or. but we always studied about what the right 
kind of um, cage or the environment. And so I learned from those things, but I never kept them. They, they were just temporary. Let's learn about them. And then we would take them out into the woods or wherever and um, release it. So I got a kick out of this. Brought back a lot of memories. Um, I also, and this is the very last time that I'm going to go over this. Very, very last time. But since there, I mentioned this the other night when we had our talk, and I said this this morning because it has a big bearing on something that I want to tell you that, that you may not know about. The morning people heard me say this, and I'm sorry for repeating it, but this is the last time I want to go over this. It um, has to do with the money and situation of that. So I'm just going to read it and then explain it. It says, and this is what I read the other night on part of it. Please understand something about my thoughts on the surprise group. It is not really about that generator or who told me of the discussion. That's not what the issue is. Don't lose sight of the real picture. Again, it was basically three things that bothered me. I, one, I don't want people to think FFRC is asking and asking for money all the time. Because um, I, just, I don't like that. I don't want anybody to think that I'm here just to ask and ask. I'm not. Uh, secondly, I feel strongly that FFRC has to be accountable for every single penny that is donated. To do this, the donations need to be given directly to FFRC. And that way, I get the check or the money or the PayPal, and then it's, and it's put into our accounting book. Every penny is accounted for. And thirdly, the future plans that, that I have for the Rescue Center may not be achieved if donated money is designated for other things. So, you know, if, if um, so what I said this morning is we do have plans for this rescue center. There are some really cool plans, and I've got one plan that I've been working on already, and um, I'm really excited because the money that we earned today by winning the Animal Planet Rescue or Animal rescue site, that $1,000 is going to go into this fund. So if we have different projects going out all over, that means we may not be able to achieve the goals that we know that we would like to pursue here for the rescue center. I hope that, um, I hope that, um, that I'm making that clear, uh, what my feelings are on that. You know, I'm all for like that surprise group being for non-money things, you know, fun things. I love fun things. I love surprises. I love surprises. And I think, and I love, I love fun stuff. And so those things are cool. But money kind of things, I think, have to be done through the Rescue Center. One, so we can record it. And two, so that we can keep on track with what we know that we need to do here for the Rescue Center. So putting that aside... And, yeah, we have a vision. And this is what I got today from our wonderful friend, um, Canton Cat. And she told me this last year, and she wrote it to me again. And I have to tell you it because I love this saying. She says, always remember, when you dream alone, it is just a dream. When you share that dream, it is the beginning of reality. And then she's got on here, let's build that room. And this is from Canton Cat. So what that room is, I did this this morning also, but I redid it, and hopefully this is a little bit more understanding. Something that you folks may not know, uh -huh, yeah, that's what Stinky is saying. What room, what room? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you. Um, one thing that you may all not know is that every single penny that comes in here, well, you know this, is... I keep track of every single penny. That's why I have gray hair, too, is from worrying about making sure that I have everything recorded. But for the last few months, anything extra that I can get beyond our utilities, beyond our insurance, beyond the medical, beyond the surgeries, beyond all those operational costs, I've been sticking away, and I've been collecting every penny that I can, and that's where this $1,000 is also going to go in. What I what our next goal, big goal, is here for the Rescue Center is 
a storage room. We, we use so many supplies and we need so many supplies. This is not a small, small operational place. We go through an, an enormous amount of supplies and it's hard to, um, it's hard to keep everything in stock when we only have this little space to store something, you know. So it's wonderful, like what Lini did when we get the, and what Jody did, and, you know, the litter. When we get these supplies, it's, uh, it's awesome. But it, it's hard sometimes to store. And if you've ever been here, you might notice, you know, we've got stuff stored in June's room, Newcomer's room, in the Kitty Campus room, and the Cat's Corner room. The poor dog's room, those doggies are getting kind of squished because I've used so much of their room for storage. And the frustrating part about it is, is that I can't always find things. When we had to move the entire clinic in here, all the supplies, our storage space just, oh my word, it just went kind of nuts. And so now when I have to find something, I am I feel like now I'm rooting through this trying to find it or where did I put that flea prevention or where did I put that particular medicine I was always very very organized but it's come to the point now where it takes me a while sometimes to find something I know it's here but we've got things everywhere and so I have wanted for a long long time to have a storage room and this is going to be a cool thing for us to be able to do Mr. Barth was here and you might remember him from when they did he, Mr. Barth's company did our bathroom, thumper's room, and the welcome room. They did a really good job. So he was here yesterday, and some of you, I think, saw him and wondered what he was here for. So um, this is what we've come up with, and it's going to be it's going to be an easy project. Okay, so this is our our new office. This is the welcome room. Here's Thumper's room, and here's our little bathroom. Here's the door that comes into this gate area, and this gate here then goes over here to the driveway. So what we want to do is build this room over here. This is the side of the rescue center. This is the side of the office. So we have these two sides already, and he said we can use those. He doesn't have to do very much at all with those. So that will cut down drastically on the expense of the building. This is new siding here because of this building being built. They had to put new siding here. So we're going to leave that siding on. We're not going to change that. That's going to be actually the wall. So this is the door that comes into the rescue center, and I had kind of made a little bit of a blueprint and then I, I remember I, I always my dad was always into what can make it better and I could hear him saying don't forget the door to outside so this is a door that would be outside because this is the driveway so what we've had to do in the past was come over here carry everything carry everything through the gate through two doors through one door to go over here to do the storage now we just come in the driveway we can go through this door and put it into this storage room. This will be no windows. This will be all shelves around this whole building or this whole room. This is the door that will go into the rescue center. This is the door we'll use to load up on. So it's going to be an easy project, I think. Get tornado proof. Oh, I don't think so. The cam, somebody asked that this morning. The cam is way over here. I mean, this is this is the office that's way out there. This door comes into the main area of the rescue center. Um, well, the cats will not be allowed in here. This, this is not for cats. This is strictly for our supplies. You have the same hoodie. <laughs> um, so does that explain, will you always have to go? No, 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 no. We're here in the driveway. We're unloading things. We go in here and unload. And then this door comes right in here. This door is inside the rescue center. This whole whole area in here is the rescue center, the main rescue center. 
Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, necessary supplies are always welcome and needed on a regular basis. We go through, I mean, oh my word, we go through so many supplies here on the outside for unloading stuff in the evening. That's right, Jody Ann. Yeah, that's a good point. We would have a light on the outside of this. Oh, oh good question, cat lover. This is, it's eight feet wide. This office is eight feet wide and it's 12 feet long. Now, I measured this. This, of course, is eight feet, but I measured from here, 12 feet, and it goes almost all the way through Thumper's room. So it, it's, it's long enough. It's big enough. It's it's way bigger than what our office is. It would be. I, you know, and this is the other benefit of a storage room. This is another benefit, is um, that that will then allow us to take the supplies out of all the rooms and everywhere where we have it stuffed at. I not only will be way more organized, but that will then mean that the rooms the rescue rooms will be bigger because we aren't going to have all paper towels in this one and, you know, all of that. Stacy lives out in, in an apartment here. So what do you guys think? To deliver. Hmm. Never thought about de water delivery. I wonder if it would be cheaper. Yeah, you get your own shelf here. But it'll be great. We can have all these shelves in there. And everything will be so organized. I'll be able to actually tell when we're out running low on something before we um, run out of it. Yeah, the, um, we'll get an estimate at the end of the week. But I do have some money already saved for this. Okay, butterfly. So do you have any questions? Oh, yeah, why don't we use the Earth Angels building for storage? Yeah, well, Severn, one, we, I have actually turned that into the apartment. That's where Stacy's living now. Um, but two, it's not connected to the rescue center, so that means we would have to carry it from here outside into another building, which is, you know, which would not be convenient. Yeah, it, it has a cement floor. I'm going back a little bit and catching some of this. And yes, Janet, definitely a security light. We have lots of those out there. Yeah, well, there's been some things lately that it's like, I know it's here. I know that product is here that we need. And, you know, it's just, where is it, though? And it's so aggravating because I don't like working that way. I don't work the best that way. I don't know what the total cost is. I do know because um, it, we'll find out probably the end of this week, beginning of next week. Yeah, those the shelves, Cat Lover, will be top floor to, floor to ceiling. And... You know, like this. The the one thing we have to put in there is the refrigerator. That because this hole here where this is is where the refrig no the freezer is. So when that door opens up, we'll just put the freezer in here. But this whole thing here, other than the door, will be will be shelves top to bottom. I uh, don't know. I'm not sure about that. CJ read about the island. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how much room we have after we get all the shelves in. Yeah, it is a brand new room, Madison. It's 
it's a new room. It's not something we have already. You can't get in, you would not be able to get into it from the office, but you can get into it from here in the rescue center and from outside. <laughs> yeah, Octavia will think it's just for, just for her. Well, yes, you know what, Jack had I heard that Costco has, uh, somebody told me that, that they have those heavy duty wire shelves. Yeah, Nick, Nika Ross, that would be a good idea to take those pictures like that. Yeah, it'll be the same same people that did Thumper's room in the office and bathroom. Well, hi, how you can doing? get in from okay. office and no, not from the office, just from the outside and this you main area. Replace the replacement, yeah. Oh, the cats outside? Oh my gosh, they've got it made. They've got a shed that has heating lights and um, a hole cut out of their shed so they can go in and out. There's cat furniture in there that's cleaned every week. And um, then the sun porch that they have has a little door they can get in, and that has heat pads in there. Oh, oh, the freezer, um, like our extra KMR is in there. Uh, just, you know, just some supplies that we keep in there. Yeah, Sunny Cat, yeah. We actually talked about that, whether to put the door here facing Kitty City or over here. And I agree. And I think actually that's what I told Mr. Barth was to put it put the door over here. <laughs> Lots of gold in the freezer. You got that right, Nick Ed. When do you want this done? Um they can they can start that this winter. That he said that's not a problem. Rats in the freezer. I think that there, there still are a couple in there, just in case. Donations to name a shelf? Sure. And we've got the guy that makes the um, signs for it. Yeah, Joe, thank you for that. Yes, if you are interested in that. Yeah, ideas are great. Um, but we, we can organize that money. Clam juice popsicle. Mmm. You guys are awesome. Will Part B? Um, no, they're going to be all open shelves. Since the cats won't be in there, the it'll be open shelves. And I know I'm behind. Wow, Sharky ate a whole jar of chicken baby food. That's really wonderful. Yeah, there'll be heat in the room. Remember, my son-in-law is a, is a furnace guy. There'll be two lights and um, no windows. So that won't that will be a cost we won't have to have are the windows. Right, I agree, Jody Ann. The shorter the walk, the better from Tarion. Will be Octavia proof? Well they wouldn't have to be Octavia proof because Octavia won't be in there. This won't won't be for the kitties, it'll be just for storage. It'll be heated and electric. She leaves her address or her phone number. Oh, sorry. I I always am way behind. Is office moving to office? The only thing I'm confused is office moving. Here's Teffer. No, the office stays here. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Huh? <laughs> this is the new one. This is what would be built. Our welcome room stays here. Doesn't move at all. Right, yeah, off limits to the cats. That way we can have open shelves. Hi, Bingo Mom. <laughs> yeah, no, this room will be heated. We would have to. Oh, for Cito, sardines in the freezer. Well, point out, Yvette says, 
Can you please point out in real life where the addition is planned? Boy, that's really hard because I don't think you guys can see it from here. Um, but the back door back there, <laughs> that's the door that goes to this. So it's that side of the office. I don't know. That's really hard to tell you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, so you're looking at the current blueprint and office behind. Okay, do you see where, Stefford, do you see where it says the parking lot? It's towards the parking lot. There's like this, this, this is the side of the kitty. This is the side of the rescue center already there. And this is the side of the office. So all it is is filling this in and putting the roof on. Sounds easy, doesn't it? I know it won't be that easy. The welcome room is gas. The welcome room is the office. It's it's the one and the same thing. What is the room with Duggar here? I don't have a pen for Duggar. But I'm not sure which one you mean, Stafford. Yeah, they, they only have to actually put in two walls. So so that means our estimate won't be all that high. Yeah, way back. At, hey, Pam. Uh -huh. There, see where Pam is? See the door to Pam's? Yeah, where she's pointing? That's the door that goes into the welcome room or the office. Yeah, the storage room is an add-on. Boy, I am way behind. Hi, sweetums. Oh, give her a pet for me. Oh, Sunny Cat, I see what you mean. Maybe this will explain it. The new room that we built on last year, beside Thumper's room in the bathroom, that is called an office, but it's also called the welcome room. But before we had that, we had another office that is that way right around the corner where we're going to put all the cats next week. And it's the only reason is the office is because that's where my desktop is at. That was the old office. Right, that's that's a good idea, account connect. Is that office is forever to be called the welcome room now. Right, it's the welcome room. Welcome office. <laughs> Welcome room office. Okay. There you go. Queen's got it right. There's the original office and then there is the new office welcome room. There you go. That's how we should say it. Yes, it should, Joe. Be obvious. Well, you know, um, MSL, you asked about the funds. Remember when we built the welcome room and Thumper's room and the bathroom? Remember they, if you were with us then, they actually built that before we even had all the money raised. So that's one thing nice about a smaller town is they let us do that. I see why I confused you guys now. So Skeeto Shelf, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's what I've been doing, Madison, is anything that I get that it isn't earmarked for anything that I don't have to have for our operational cost or, you know, to keep up on, um, um, to keep up on our medical things, I've been tucking away for this. Oh, DLC. That's good. Make payable pay, PayPal donations. Yeah. Anytime you, anytime anyone does PayPal, always if you have something you want it earmarked for, you just put it on there, and I honor that. I'm I honor every one of those. <laughs> 
save for tomorrow. Small towns rock. You got that right. Okay, I think I'm finally caught up, but I think I probably missed a few. Yes, the PayPal link works beautifully because I've, I've gotten a few in the last few days. Right, it does. It takes the pressure off, Miss Owl. Um, that's why I love working with these guys. Oops. Yeah, they built that, and that was a $17,000 project, remember? And we didn't pay a penny of that till weeks after it was done. They, they were just awesome. Oh, thanks, Stinky Peeps. I am working hard. Every minute I get, I'm trying to work on the computers just to make sure I know what we're doing. And I am making, did I tell you I'm making an appointment with our Dell people and asking them to come in and they're going to give this, our, the brand new uh, computer a physical just to make sure that it's, it's uh, working good and doing well. It's time for its checkup. Is it Xena Mall? Lena, oh, Zena Malina, um, you know what, I honestly never keep track, no, oh, 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 um, Deb, the new microphone, I've got it right here, and I've got somebody this weekend that's supposed to help me with that, yeah, the cat stock, we talked about that today, this coming year, well, no, actually, this year, 2012, is when our friend is going to come and do our concert, and I think we have decided to call it cat stock. I called today. We do not have to um, have any special permits because we're out here in the country. So the sheriff said we do not have to. We will do a small couple day insurance policy. And um, what was the other thing? And we'll have to have a food uh, permit. But nothing real big. Yeah, that's Einstein. That screeches in the background. Yeah, cat stock. And he's, oh gosh, it's been a little while. So I forget who sent me some of that song about cat stock. Changed the words around a little bit. Do you remember who did that? But um, he's going to sing that here. And just for you guys, um, just I'm trying to catch up here or keep up with you guys. You guys are fast. Um, are you all right, Hero? You hurt your mouth, didn't you? Oh, Good thing you landed where you did, buddy. You all right? He fell, but he landed in the litter box. He's had a mouthful of litter. Um, he's going to, uh, our fella that's doing the cat stock, our concert, is going to, that's going to be on Saturday night, but he's going to Friday night sit right here and give you guys on the website, webcam, your own personal um uh, concert, so I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe smoking catnip. <laughs> uh, there was something and all that. I missed a question, I know. Yeah, like the wood, Woodstock, but cat stock. Yeah, he's okay. He's all right. He's a good boy. He's a toughie. Yeah, I think it was clean litter. Is Eric on? Is Love My Pets on? Um, do we, I'm hoping that we can. I've just got to work on, on how we're going to do that. But I, I don't know why we wouldn't be able to do that, too. September is the, the cat stock. Let me check what that date was. Hey. Boy, you 
guys, I'm not positive what that was. It was on a Saturday, 15th maybe. Just, it's right in there. I will get that for you, though. Yep, DeWitt, that's what, I got to work on that. Yeah, we got a really crazy couple, well, especially this coming week coming up. He fell from, uh, 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 Tilo fell from one of the catwalks in Cat's Corner Room. Oh, that was a question that I missed. What was in the rooms? Um, the rooms, Account Connect, are just rooms that we use for the cats. Um, the If you're looking at the layout, Kitty Campus Room was our original room. And that's kind of a room for whoever, whenever, whatever. It's kept open all the time. The cats love it. Seems like the quieter cats like to congregate in there. Cat's Corner Room and June's Room are used a lot of times for kittens, mommies with babies. Um, we shut those rooms off when um, we use those a lot of times. They're just they're just wonderful. They they they're used a lot. Hey, love my pets, and I'm sorry I'm way behind on the chat again. Can you can you call me sometime soon so maybe I can talk to you about this computer for next week? Maybe you can help me with that, pretty please. So um, so let me know, okay? But just give me a call, maybe. Yeah, the catathon and the cat stock will be this year. No free love, man. Cat stock. I like that. Um, did Mike say if we need any kind of permission to change the lyrics? You mean for that song he's going to sing? He said it was fine. And he... He was going to sing that for you guys here, too. Uh, from New Hampshire. Wow. I, aren't they crazy kitties? Cat stock poster. That would be cool if Bantry would do that. I want to adopt Jake. Jake is awesome. Oh. Yeah, a video tour of all the rooms in FFRC. Hmm, love my pets. Does that sound like something you could do for us? That would be a cool thing. Eric's really, really good at the at videoing. Uh, videoing is that even the correct word? I know two big events. I'm. Oh. Be fine. <laughs> you guys are really funny. Um, well, the catathon will be in June. The cat stock is in September. Uh -huh. I survived cat stock t-shirts. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, a little tie dyed cat collars <laughs> we could have a whole bunch of fun on this and we can do whatever he's he's game for whatever it's going to be fun i think yeah whoops oh gosh i'm so sorry i get so behind and then i miss some questions yeah Cat stock t-shirts with pics of catnip on front. <laughs> Need headbands for all the kitties. Oh, man. Night, Dutchie. How's, how's our boy Sesame? He's awesome. He's up on top of the refrigerator again. He likes to take his little nappy up there. Yeah, we'll have to talk to Bant Bantry. Wouldn't that be cool t-shirts though? Oh my goodness. I love that. Yeah, I survived cat stock. Oh, a quilt? Oh, you're bringing a quilt for auctioning off at the catathon? Oh, Lini, I can't wait to see it.
I'm a Woodstock person, yeah. <laughs> the dead deadhead walk. Oh my gosh, this brings back some good memories, doesn't it? <laughs> we do have our own calendar, Sophie and Lucy's dad, but um, we even made 25 more this year, and we, we sold every one of them. I think we had 275. Stinky Peep got arrested at... Oh, I got it. Oh, that's for the t-shirt. I like that. Um, the catathon is going to be in June, I believe. Uh, we got we we just started talking about it a little bit today. Don't have a for sure date yet though. Yeah, thanks you guys for passing that on. I didn't catch that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? If any of you guys come for the cat stock, you know we've got five acres here. You can set up tents if you want with lots of holes in it. Oh. All right, you guys are too funny. I love you guys all. You still have some of your old love beads. <laughs> oh boy. What? A, yeah, we need a whole weekend of just some fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, don't tease my chickies. They'll quit laying eggs. <laughs> oh, Mimi, that's funny. Don't eat the brown cat, no. Oh, that's cute, Madison. Love, peace, and purrs. Peace, love, dove. These are great ideas. Yeah, who was that that did the cartoon of the kitty? I have that here. More power of the paw. We could have so much fun. Yeah, does somebody want to pop on the Facebook up there so our new people would know? Oh, goodness. All right, well, I better get my things put together. Or put away, I should say. Yeah, Sesame is the last new cat. Um, I bet. Thank you for putting the Facebook up there, G Jean, or G Jeannie. <laughs> Love and sardines. Oh. Maybe he can make some pictures, yeah. Yeah, this is fun. From Florida to the cat stock, yeah, you know, I just think it'd be awesome. If we could just get a whole bunch of you web cameras to come up here. Yes, yeah, thank you, Severin, for reminding us. Yeah, please remember to vote. And I thank you for every vote. Cool cats back then. That's right. I think you're right. All right. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. You guys are just way too much fun. Um. Yeah. No, I don't. But hey, this is something that we're we okay. Oh, Joe, that that's cool. This is something that we want to add to our new website. Is a page for you web cameras to be able to add pictures of your cats. So wouldn't that be cool? And the other thing that I have not had time to do yet, but that I want to is I think I've mentioned to you before is to put um, the history of FFRC in there. I think that would be awesome.
Yeah, I, I've just got to sit down and start doing that. Yeah, I love seeing all of you guys' as cats, and it would be fun to share that with everybody. Yeah, we're we're still working on it. Uh, things are coming along. I'm have you I'm you guys all liking the new website? Good. I'm I'm glad. Yes, there we have four, four or five hotels here. They're all clumped together on the other side of town, but the other side of town isn't all that far away. Oh, you know, Nika Ross, um, female by um, gosh, I have to either learn how to read faster or something. Yeah, that view thing is really something. Sometimes it gets kind of crazy. Okay, hang, hang on a minute. Now I got to back up here. Nika Ross, yes. You know, somebody had suggested that we put some of these really fun letters together into a booklet form that we can, you know, share with everybody. And I have been collecting them. When you're here, let me show them to you, and maybe you can um, uh, kind of go over some of them with me. I've been starting to collect them. I've got them in, my, in the front office, I'll call it. And uh, I think it'd be really fun. I think... I think it's Diane, the volunteer, had suggested it to me a few weeks ago. And so as I've been busy, I've been going through things, though, and picking out, you know, where I have all these letters. Um, no, I think, Jim, that I'm I'm about ready to, uh, <laughs> yeah, that disco ball. Okay, i got to stay back on track. Uh, I think I'm going to start putting things away because I've got early morning tomorrow. And uh, I got to go visit my kitties inside. So, yeah, if somebody wants to kind of condense that, Joe, and um, put some of those fun ideas together and zip it to me on the email, that would be cool. Thanks, Gemini, though. And take a look at how many wonderful moderators we have on right now. I think it's great. Bubbles, Gemini, Tommy, Love My Pets, Napa, Severin, Sherry, Yvette. Thank you, moderators. You guys are awesome. Thanks, love my pets. Yeah, we've got good mods. All right, well, I'll put things away and see if we had our storage, new storage room. I could just go in there and start putting things on the shelves. It'd be really awesome. So sleep tight, everybody. Think about cat stock, wood stock, fun stuff. Put some ideas together. And I I do best when you guys need to give me any information um, is to send me emails. I'm pretty good at getting my emails back out. So anything you need, you want to ask or suggestions, problems, concerns, whatever, pop me an email. I'm, I'm always happy to uh, get back with you. Yeah, you guys come. Yeah, really serious. I think you guys should come. Let me get you one bit of information. Oh, where's my book, guys? Where'd you guys take my book? I saw that on Facebook someone had asked about Farah, and I did put the answers there, but since you asked, I will also tell you. Um, Farah originally came uh, June 27, 2009. She was seven weeks old. She was found in the woods, and she came in here as a single baby. There were no siblings with her, and Farah's birthday is May 1609, so that makes her about two and a half years old, something like that. And she's had her first seizure in August of 09. So she was still a wee little baby yet. Uh, that was a bad day. I remember her very first seizure was really bad. So um, that's the deal on Farah. No, no, but you know why it might be confusing on that, Queen, is when Farah was little, 
um, we had a whole li another litter of uh, white babies. So they kind of they kind of grew up together. No, she hasn't. I will give her her meds. <laughs> Farah, what are you doing? Come on, we gotta get busy so I can go to Betty Guy. Right in, I gotta put Einstein to bed. Oh, Farah, you gonna make me come to you, girly girl? No, no, it's not treat. Stop. Stop, stop, I say. This is for fear, love. Uh -oh. oh, she's a chirper. Plymouth is already going to town on the banana. Come on. It's right here. Now this, isn't that funny? She's taken these for months now, or weeks and weeks and weeks. Farah. Come on, look at it. Come on, you better get it. You better get it. Oh, 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 oh. What are we going to do with you? Yeah. Now you gotta have something make sure it goes down. One drink of water. Alright, you got it. There you go, somebody can have it. Good girl. You're still a good girl. Yeah, you are. You are a good girl. 